In this video I'd like to show you how to In this video I'd like to show you how to do the installation of the parametric toolkit and how to set up Cinema 4D to make it most convenient to use. So as you can see I have uh, my finder open here and uh, the installation is in the program uh, application folder for your Maxon installation. And there within that folder you can find one folder that is named plugins. And here everything has to be installed so just unzip the folder uh, you downloaded after purchase. So that's basically everything you have to do for installation. And then of course afterwards start Cinema 4D. There you will find the plugin in the plugins menu. So here it is. So everything can be fetched or started from this menu. But uh, most of the time it's more convenient to have buttons and some icons to use this tool. That's why I prepared some icon palette for this already. So just head over to the Windows menu in Cinema 4D and Customization and Load Palette. Just head over to the same directory and folder we have been before. So within the parametric tool folder in your plugins folder, there is one file named parametric tool palette. So just get that one. This open up opens up this little tool palette here, which can be integrated anywhere you like in your layout. So just drag and drop this first part of the palette maybe to place it here in between the object and the attribute manager if you like. Uh, if you like to have it here the next time you start Cinema 4D just be sure to save this layout. So just use Windows customization and then uh, just choose to save this layout as a start layout or save it under uh, a specific name you'd like to use. Uh, that name will show up here in the layout menu. You can see I've done this before for this kind of um, layout and here you can see there's a new entry for this layout that has this palette already included.